Hello everyone and welcome back to Lewis News, your number one YouTube channel for all types of Spider-Man news. Happy New Year and hopefully you've all had a great New Year. 2023 is a massive year for Spider-Man, so like I said at the start of every video, make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date with all types of Spider-Man news. This is the channel for you. But with that being said, we've got Spider-Man Freshman Year news for you today. And we've got an official synopsis that actually came out a couple of days ago. But since it's been the new year, I haven't really had that much time to report on it. But we're going to be covering everything as soon as it comes out in this new year. And all the way throughout the year on everything Spider-Man. Remember, we have Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse coming out in June. And we also have Marvel Spider-Man 2 coming in the fall of 2023. So it's a massive year for Spider-Man. But with that being said, let's get straight into the synopsis. The official synopsis for Spider-Man Freshman Year is an animated series that follows Peter Parker's journey to becoming his MCU Spider-Man in a never-before-seen story and style that honours his early comic book roots. Now this synopsis is really interesting because obviously as we do know, there's been lots of speculation and theories regarding how Spider-Man Year takes place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and whether it does or does it not. And for the longest time, we thought it was a prequel to Captain America Civil War, which would show how Peter Parker got bit by the spider, what happened to Uncle Ben, and the type of villains and thugs he would face before being recruited by Tony Stark to go and fight in Berlin on his side against Captain America in the Civil War. But then it was revealed almost half a year ago now, a couple of things about the show, including characters, suits that Spider-Man would wear, villains, other heroes that would show up, such as Daredevil and Doctor Strange, and many other details about the show. And things just didn't line up continuity-wise when it came to the MCU. For example, Doctor Strange didn't get his powers until after Captain America Civil War in the timeline. However, Doctor Strange is set to appear in Spider-Man Freshman Year. Peter also has his classic red and blue suit from the comic books, including four other suits from a comic book story called Identity Crisis. This show will also feature villains such as Norman Osborn, Doctor Octopus, and way more. Meaning that this show could not possibly take place before Captain America Civil War due to the things that it had continuity-wise. But now this official synopsis is now confirming that it is in the MCU. So which one is it? I think there's a relatively simple answer to what is actually going on here. And I believe that Spider-Man Freshman Year takes place in a variant universe of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Meaning that the events of the MCU up to this point have happened the same way that we saw them in the movies. However, what's different about Freshman Year is just the Spider-Man aspect of the universe. Meaning that this will be the same Peter Parker that we see in the MCU. However, he will just be going through different events and different things will be happening like different villains. He'll get different suits. He'll have a different origin story. I'm assuming that Tony Stark won't make an appearance either. And his life will be drastically different than it was in the MCU. But inherently, this is technically the same character that we do see in the MCU as well. So it's adjacent and sort of an extension to the MCU, sort of similar to how the What If series takes events of the MCU and puts a spin on them, where all the events of the MCU up until the episode in What If are completely the same, and then there's just one simple decision that creates a whole butterfly effect, which means events from that point on are completely different. And that's exactly what I think is happening in Spider-Man Freshman Year because people keep saying, oh, it's in the MCU and even the official synopsis for the show says that it's in the MCU. But by technicality, it actually can't be because it's completely impossible because by Civil War, Spider-Man did not have his classic suit and had never met Norman Osborn for just a few examples. However, there is one really major theory that has come out over the last couple of months of how Spider-Man Freshman Year could actually be canon to the main timeline of the MCU. And some of you may be thinking, well, that's impossible just as we discussed, but hear me out. One of the main theories is that in Spider-Man No Way Home, where Doctor Strange cast the spell, which meant that everyone forgot who Peter Parker was to fix the multiverse, it didn't just make everyone who knew Peter Parker forget who he was. In fact, it rewrote Peter Parker's history and created a brand new timeline in the process. Because all of the characters that Peter Parker in the MCU has had throughout his history now no longer know who he is. And in Spider-Man Freshman Year, we have a completely new cast of characters, including Harry Osborn. 
does this mean that Spider-Man Freshman Year could now be the new timeline for MCU Spider-Man and that could be the brand new history for the character? We also know that Spider-Man Freshman Year is going to be coming out in 2024, which is the same year that MCU Spider-Man 4 is rumoured to release. So potentially, they could be going hand in hand. We also know that MCU Spider-Man 4 and the new trilogy is sort of a soft reboot for Spider-Man as well, with them going in a different direction for the character. There is also rumours that Daredevil will show up in MCU Spider-Man 4 as well, and Daredevil likewise will also show up in Spider-Man Freshman Year. Is that just a coincidence? Maybe, but that theory is one for the books. Maybe it's true, maybe it isn't. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about that theory, and are you excited for Spider-Man Freshman Year? I know I am. Make sure to hit that subscribe button because like I said, 2023 is a massive year for Spider-Man. We've got a bunch of stuff coming out this year. So make sure you're subscribed so you can stay in the loop with all types of Spider-Man news. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.